So, I'll go third. I'm Iwashita Akemi. Well then, let me tell you a story. Kurata-san, do you like paintings? I do. Is that so? Paintings are great, aren't they? I like them too. I especially like Dali's paintings. Paintings give us an imaginary world. They heal our hearts. People that can paint are amazing. Kurata-san, do you often draw pictures? I do. Is that so? That's wonderful. I wonder what you draw. I'll get you to show me next time. It's a promise. Definitely show me, okay? Pictures reflect the heart and personality of those who draw them. When I look at pictures, I can understand just what type of person the artist really is. That's why, when I look at sad pictures, I naturally start crying. They say that pictures can suck in the human soul, right? Have you ever heard that before? Pictures are alive. If you put your heart and soul into a picture, then it will gain a soul. This is possible for any picture. There are numerous paintings all over the world that are filled with hatred. They don't often display them in art museums though. A lot of artists live poor lives, don't they? They say there's something to being an artist. Setting aside whether you draw for work, there are many cases where artists can't live drawing the pictures they want. But that's the lifestyle they choose and they're doing it because they like it, so they don't complain. But that dissatisfaction warps into hatred and it's driven into the picture. Even after they die, that malice lives on forever in the picture. In the back of some abandoned studio roof, the malice in a painting nobody sees continues to wait. Ooh, just thinking about it is fun. The story I'm about to tell you now is about one painting. You like pictures, so why didn't you join the art club? If you did, you'd be able to see all sorts of wonderful paintings. Our school's art club is pretty famous. The art teacher, Mrs. Masamura, has won several famous contests and even held her own exhibition. Several students from the club have gone on to become pros as well. You've at least heard of the illustrator Komatsuzawa Komei, who's been in the news recently, right? He's a graduate of this school too. The oil paintings, watercolours and sketches that people drew while in school are still all over the place here. Those pictures are full of their hopes and dreams. But they're not the only paintings. There are pictures like I mentioned before. That's right, the ones full of malice. We have those here too. You knew that there are numerous paintings in the art room painted by the art club students, right? Most of the ones on display now are by the current students, but some of them are ones that won awards, painted by former students. But there are just a few. Just a, a handful of works from more pictures than you could count. Do you know what happens to the ones that don't get picked? Most students take them back home, but there are some that don't. The paintings, forgotten even by their own creators. They're piled up in the corner of the art club, gathering dust. Sad, right? Even though they're alive. Amongst them is a single painting that the creator loved, yet was forced to follow a sad fate. Why? 
Before we continue that story, why don't we all go to the art room? Let's go. <laughs> That's right. You like pictures, don't you? I thought you'd say that. Well then, everyone, let's move. It's okay. I have the key. Why do I have it? I'll leave that up to your imagination. Well, here we are. It's in here. I'll show you all that picture. Sometimes I get people to show it to me. That picture. That's why I know where it is. It's in that mountain of canvases. Yes, the third oil painting. Take it out. Carefully. This girl's portrait. What do you guys think? Do you feel anything from it? Kurata-san, how about you? Do you feel anything? Not really. You don't? You really don't feel anything? I thought you could sense the supernatural, but maybe I was mistaken. Oh well. On with the story. This is a sad painting. A sad painting that's never seen the light of day. Seeing as we're here, let's put it on display in the art room for just a little while. Okay? It's okay to put it out, right? Kurata-san? Okay. Uhuhu. Thank you. I think the painting will be very happy. I can hear it. It's saying thank you. Let's put it in the most visible place. Yes, there is good. Well, nice, right? The painting seems somewhat happy. Doesn't seem like it's full of malice, does it? Well then, shall we go back? It's okay. I'll lock the art room behind us. Sorry, everyone. It's like I'm forcing you all along with me. Kurata-san, are you angry? No. Is that so? I'm glad. That's right. People who enjoy art are kind people. Now that everyone's seated, I'll continue the story. The person who drew that portrait was the student herself. It was a self-portrait. A former student of this school. Of course, she was in the art club. Her name was Shimizu Tomoko. She was a quiet student. Very quiet and always facing a canvas, drawing a picture. She loved art and wanted to attend an art university in the future. But her dream wasn't to be. She died immediately after painting that picture. She was killed. Even now, they still don't know who did it. They never caught the killer. Apparently someone strangled her on her way home from school. Maybe it was a random attack. Or maybe it was planned from the start. Shimizu-san put her heart into that painting. The prefectural competition was near. She stayed behind late in the art room finishing it so she could submit it. Then, the tragedy occurred right before she finished it. She had probably stayed behind late at school working on it. If she'd gone home early, it might not have happened. So the picture was unfinished. Uhuhu, <laughs> that's right. In reality, that picture wasn't finished. She was killed before it was completed. But it was finished, right? Do you know why? Even after she died, the picture continued being painted. After the incident, the unfinished picture was kept in the art room. Her family agreed that it was for the best as well. Then, the unfinished portrait was hung in the most visible place. But then a short while after that, 
people started to spread rumours. Day by day, that portrait was getting closer to completion. Looking at it, it had definitely changed from when it was first hung up. Someone must have been sneaking in to finish it when no one was around, people said. But even though the art room was locked, the picture was being completed. Then everyone started talking. It had to be the girl's spirit doing it. Then one of her good friends from the art club decided to check it out, once and for all. Then she saw it. Shimizu-san, standing there, looking at the painting. Then they took the picture down, and it became one of the many works sleeping in the art room. By the way, even though nobody had touched it, at some point it was put on display in the art room again. No matter how many times they took it down, it would return to the art room again. It was like it wanted everyone to see it. It was so creepy that the school contacted her family and asked them to take it home. But of course, it did nothing. At some point, it was back in the art room again. It really seemed to like the art room. Or maybe there was another reason. <laughs> Some people even said they should burn it. But they were scared of being cursed, so they couldn't. If so, some suggested that it was even more reason they should hold a memorial for the painting. What do you think they did in the end? Held a memorial service. In the end, they invited a monk and held a service for it. But it was no good. The tenacity of the girl's spirit was too strong. No matter what they did, the painting kept returning to the art room. And so, unable to do anything, they decided to leave it there. It wasn't like it was hurting anyone. If she would be satisfied once the painting was done, then they'd watch over it carefully until then. Day by day, the painting slowly neared completion. It was almost impossible to tell apart. Then, it was finished. Shimizu-san's beautiful self-portrait was done. Once it was, this time, it disappeared from the art room. It finally disappearing was also creepy. Even though they'd all been so afraid of it, now they started looking for it. Where do you think it was? I have no idea. Uhuhu. Is that so? You don't know. It was left where she was killed. The person who found it was surprised. The picture had completely changed. The beautiful self-portrait twisted into pain, her face pale. Blood trickled from her mouth and her eyes bulged as though they were about to fall out. It was what she looked like when she died. At some point, the face in the self-portrait had changed. Even though the completed painting had been beautiful, it was now too cruel to even look at. It was like it was complaining that the criminal hadn't yet been found. Then the school took charge of the painting again. They displayed it in the art room, and it returned to normal. Strange, right? After that, nothing happened again. The painting disappeared back into the mountain of paintings in the art room, all by itself. Like it was trying to hide from human eyes. Nobody tried to take it back out again after that. But sometimes, it turns back into that death face once more. It's just a rumour, and I've never seen it once myself, though. But when someone tells her sad story, it's supposed to change again. I wonder what it looks like now. Would you like to go and check the art room right now? 
Maybe her face has changed. Let's go. Really? I'm happy you said that. I believed you would. Well then, let's go. Maybe Shimizu-san will show us her pained, dying face. Are you scared? There's nothing to be afraid of. I mean, you had nothing to do with her death. Look, the art room is getting closer. Looking at it like this, don't you think it's like some impure energy is flowing out of the room? I can clearly see it. A dark haze is creeping out of the tightly shut door. All right, are you ready? I'm going to open the door. When I open it, we'll see the picture. Are you ready? I'm going to open it. Oh yeah. Hold on a minute. Before I open it, there's one thing I want to tell you. About the changed picture that was found where Shimizu-san had been killed. For some reason, everyone who sees it, dies. The person who found it, and even the students who stumbled upon it at school. Of course, they might just be coincidences. I mean, only four people have died. But their deaths were strange. They all strangled themselves. It must have been incredibly painful. To strangle your own neck. I've never heard of anyone committing suicide like that before. And all their faces looked just like hers, pale and in pain. Like she had cursed them. Like she was lonely and wanted friends. I don't think it was just a simple coincidence. She has four friends now, but I think she's probably still lonely. Sorry. Now I've killed the fun mood. Well, are you ready? Have you prepared yourself? I wonder what the face on the other side of this door looks like. What fun. Kurata-san? What face would you prefer? The face hasn't changed at all. That would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> let's hope it hasn't changed. All right, let's open it up. Well, what does it look like to you? To me, it looks like... No. Words are unnecessary now. What you see is your own problem. But those who see that picture undoubtedly die. Sometime soon after. Always. At the very least, four people have died so far. Will you be the fifth, or will I be the fifth, and you the sixth? I hope it doesn't end that way. <laughs> well then. Shall we go back? We have to hear the fourth story. I hope we can safely hear everyone's stories until the end. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo.